Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are heading back into town for some fuel. I uh, wasn't going to bring you guys back until I had 100 um, ounces of gold. If you look on the, in the upper right-hand corner, you can see I have 90, but we ran out of fuel, so I figured, well, let's just go ahead and bring you back now with an update on where we are. Um, so I've got my two fuel cans with me, and I also have my pump and my generator in the back of the truck so we can fill them up directly like we did last time. And then we're going to come back and keep on mining until we have uh, 100 ounces. And then we'll check the gold price and see if we want to go ahead and sell there or not. Uh, I'm backing up here because every time I go by here, there's a story thingy that flashes up. Uh, so let's see if we can figure out where that is. When I drive by here, it flashes. Oh, now I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's back further this way. I just saw it a second ago. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> smash. Okay. Let's hop out and see what this is all about. It's flashing slowly there. Flashing slowly there. And it disappears there. Where the heck is this thing at? Okay, now it's flashing more quickly. Right about here-ish. Up this way. Oh, right here. Here we go. Okay. You found a new part of the story. Check at the end of your journal to read more. Okay, so what do we got here for stories? We've done the blacksmith and the old Arnold mine so far. It must be this one. We found something. We found a missing child. They lived in the factory for a few months. Parents are on their way now, so I hope it'll be calm in the factory now. Vasa's journal. All right, so I guess a kid was living in the factory. <laughs> uh, my understanding is every time we read those stories, we get a, 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 more, a little bit more of a discount when we buy stuff in town, or I guess, so... Uh, they are worth doing for that reason, if not, um, you know, the interest in the story itself. I don't know if all of these little stories will come together in the end, and you know, and, you know, kind of connect or not. But, I mean, we'll, cer whoop, we'll certainly do it to get the, the discount, if nothing else, right? Okay, so let's head on into town and get some gas. Oh, we're going to crash. <laughs> uh, you know, another thing, too. I don't think fuel consumption on vehicles is working um, because I've driven my pickup in and out of into town and back out of town many times now and I still have a full tank of gas and so I looked in the settings to see if that's something I needed to enable and then I didn't find anything specific to that so yeah I don't know what's up with that but my vehicles both this and the backhoe the excavator are not running out of fuel so that's got to be uh, I'm assuming that's a bug but you know, can't do anything about it at this point. So if the devs happen to be watching these videos, then you guys got a bug. Okay, so the gas station is down on this end of town. All right, we'll pull in here. Okay, so let's grab this. First, we're going to hit the, the water pump. Uh, the gas does obviously run out on the machinery, on the pumps and, and that stuff, but it doesn't seem to run out on the vehicles. So that's what the deal seems to be there. Obviously, that can't be correct, but it's what is happening at the moment. Okay, good. So uh, both the water pump, the generator, and the two jerry cans are full. We are now finished with that. And um, let's stop by the bank really quick and just take a look at the stock prices at the moment. Um, I, I can also look at that at the tablet back at my 
uh, you know, my camp, but it changes by the hour. So it's been below 12 for a while now. And uh, I want to see it. Last time I looked before I started the recording, it had gone up a little bit. I uh, see now it's dropping back down again. Dog on it. Okay. All right. Well, you know, just to keep things progressing, I probably, unless it's really dipped down low, I'll probably sell anyways once we hit that 100 ounces. Uh, so, all right. I'll meet you guys back at the camp. Okay. We have another story thing here. Let's see if we can find that. Is it over this way? No, it's slower that way and... Slow. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, now let's go back to the journal. That's all Nighthawk parcels, so this should all be factory story stuff. Okay. So we've done old Arnold, we've done blacksmith, junkyard, railroad, Hindenburg gold mine, Pine Valley sawmill, factory. Here we go again. Apart from sobbing, now I heard some words. I'm sure it were words. I'm sure it were words, but somehow different, incomprehensible. I went to staff so they would check the vents. As always, they didn't find anything. Now they look at me like I'm nuts. So that's probably alluding to the child that they found later. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. All right. Nifty. Okay, so let's uh, set our pump up first here. I had it sitting right here, and that should be good. Reconnect the input and the output. And we'll turn it on once we have everything else ready to go, just to maximize our fuel. What time is it? Oh, it's late. Yeah, well, uh, okay, so we're, I'll get everything set up, but then I, I think we're going to sleep for the night. Of course, we could work through the night, I guess. I can, you know, with the lights on the backhoe and stuff, I can see pretty well. I don't think your guy actually needs sleep in this game. It's not really a survival game, so sleeping, eating, that sort of thing is not required. It'd be kind of cool if you if you did though, just for realism, but yeah. Um okay. If you don't sleep through the night, I think when it hits midnight, that's when the next day officially starts and you pay your rent and that sort of thing. So there's not really any reason not to, I suppose. So let's turn our lights off. Turn off the pickup truck. And um, let's look at the price one more time. Okay, so according to this, it's gone back up to 1190 When we had just checked it earlier, it had gone down. So has that many hours actually gone by since we were in at the bank? It doesn't seem like it. that many hours have gone by, but maybe they have. I don't know. Anyway, uh, all right. So let's go ahead and sleep. And then our provision of rent and gold is 2.92 ounces. And, you know, this does not take into account nuggets that you found. It only takes into account the gold that you've got from from washing, um, which is interesting. It doesn't make sense to me, but on the other hand, I'm not complaining because we get to keep most of our gold. Uh, let's see. We want to do something else here, too. We're going to put one can next to the pump, and the other one we'll take down to the Jenny. It's like a nice morning here in Alaska. We are two days off till summer. It's been really dark and rainy. 
Uh, but that's probably normal for Alaska in, in the springtime, I'm guessing. Okay, we'll put that right there. Oh, I should have started the pump. That's all right. We're getting our steps in today. What I've been doing is after the mobile wash plant is finished at 100% gold, I turn it off and then I refill the hopper again just so it's we get a tiny little bit of a jump start on the next round. Okay, let's turn this on. Uh, so this is what I've mined so far too, by the way. So we got a nice big old pit going on down there. And uh, that's about as deep as I can get with this backhoe or with this excavator and still get, you know, like a full thing. So my plan is to, you know, kind of go like in a half moon. Let's turn that on. Okay, so, um, oh, did digging helper get put on? I didn't mean to turn that on if I did. Apparently I did, yeah. Uh, no. Oh, it doesn't let me turn it off. Uh, okay, whatever. I mean, it's not, it, it's a little bit immersion breaking, I suppose. The only way I'd be able to turn that off is if, if I reset everything and then use um, a digging helper. Yeah, I don't know. Why can't you? You should be able to turn stuff like that off. Maybe it's because we're in the tutorial. Could be. Well, anyway, let's not worry about that right now. Um, and uh, so anyway, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of digging in a, a half moon till about... I'm going to dig all the way over to about there-ish and then back the excavator up and get a little closer and then kind of just keep working our way the direction that the excavator is currently uh, facing uh, as we continue to dig things out here. So that is the plan. And, uh, man, I, th I think that stupid digging helper thing is going to irritate the heck out of me. Let me save the game first just in case. Uh, we're going to call this... I think this is ep going to be episode six. So let's call this E6E. E. Okay, now let's go into here and go to settings, game. And it's not letting me turn that off. So here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to go, we're going to set everything back to default. All right. And then we want uh, head bobbing off. I want imperial units. I want Fahrenheit temperature. Digging helper is disabled. I don't even know how that got enabled unless I accidentally hit it or something. Maybe I did. Machine failures are on, pressures on, easy plant washing, intense light effects, and run background. Uh, run in background are off. Okay, I think that's what we want. So let's apply that. And there we go. Now the now the thingamadoodle's off. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, I've been using um, this view and this view. Uh, they seem to be the most useful. So let's go ahead and switch to this view here so we can just see a little bit better and then we'll drop that down a little bit that's a pretty good sized bucket yeah this view seems to be to me anyways the most uh, useful view and I get about um, did I turn that on yeah, I turned it on. I get about uh, if I have a, if I get a really really good bucket load, I get about 23 to 25, uh, but it averages about 20 ish or so. So this I don't think I can reach here. This is as far out as it'll go. Uh, oh yeah, I can still reach that. Okay, cool. 
I didn't actually get much in the bucket there though, so we, yeah, let's let's redo that. That was that didn't actually work so well. It's because I I think it's just because I'm at the edge of what the backhoe can handle. That was a little bit better there. Gonna bring this around here. Yeah, that that still wasn't a full bucket load. But needless to say, I am I am believe it or not getting a little bit better at this as time goes on. See, now that looks like a nice full bucket there. Okay, let's bring that out a little bit. Um, actually, nope, nope, shoot, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. There we go. Yeah, I lost some of that. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, when we get to 100 nuggets, or I'm, I'm sorry, 100 ounces, I'll bring you guys back. We'll check the price, and then we're, uh, unless the price is just severely dipped, we're probably going to go ahead and sell that and uh, see how much money we make. So I will see you guys when we get to 100 ounces. All right, guys, we're back, and we have, as soon as this is done, 101.718 ounces of gold. Awesome. Uh, all right, so let's turn stuff off here, and uh, we'll go turn the water pump off too, and then we're going to go into town. Uh, I don't know if I have enough cash on hand to smelt all of this. I hope that I do. Um, let's also, I keep crouching, not meaning to. Uh, let's fill this up. And we'll also fill our generator back up so it's ready to go when we come on back. I sure am having fun with this game, man. This is this is a lot of fun. It was it was a bit tedious at the beginning, you know, with all the hand digging we did, but once you get to tier two and you get your excavator and stuff, it's a lot of fun. So this is what I've dug out so far this is probably not wouldn't be, <laughs> be very safe in a real world situation but uh the plan is i'm gonna dig uh probably probably stop where the hoe is here dig all this out and then i'm gonna back the excavator up more to here and then dig another half moon uh even closer before i move this uh, you get too a little too close to the this dirt here, and then you start you know hitting the the hard ground. So that's uh, I'm not planning on coming any closer than what I've already done here. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and jump in the pickup truck and head on over to the blacksmith. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see if we can smelt the entire ounce. Uh, no, we only. Oh, can he, like, only do 20 ounces at a time? Because I have... I got 45.74 uh, in cash. Smelt, smelt. Okay, so he can only do 20 ounces at a time. Interesting. I, I wonder if the, um, you know, the upgrades that we can do will let us do you know more capacity so this level one so this reduces the time we can see i don't think we can buy this until we get magnetite though if i understand things correctly yeah because see this costs magnetite this will reduce the cost this will re will reduce the amount of gold that we lose and this I think, yeah, smelting amount increase. So this is what would actually allow us to do larger quantities. Okay, that's cool to know uh, when the time comes. But it looks like for now, we're going to have to do 20 ounces at a time, which means I'm going to basically be able to do two of these bars before I run out of cash. So what we'll do is we'll do two, I guess. And then we'll go sell those two so we have enough cash to do the other two. Um, so... I'm going, what I'll do is I'll just meet you guys over at the bank once I have two 20 ounce bars and then we'll go from there. 
All right, guys, we have our two gold bars. Uh, they are 18 ounces because we lost two ounces per bar, which really sucks. But I guess that's just the way it is until we can upgrade the blacksmith stuff. Um, but there they are. So, yeah, look at that. 18 ounce bar, and there's two of them. Okay, so let's take a look at the stock prices. Yeah, man. Ah, shoot, it's it backed out again. But uh, I just uh, we're gonna we're gonna sell anyways. Probably not the best thing to do, but we're gonna do it anyway. So that's gonna get us up to forty-two um, thousand and some odd. So how do we? I guess we have to sell both of them separately. Okay, so we are up to 43329 um, which should give us enough money, uh, or definitely will give us enough money to go make the other, let's turn our vehicle on, uh, go make the, the rest of the bars out of the remaining 61 some odd ounces that we have. So basically we should be able to make three more bars with this gold. Uh, so I'll do that, and then I'll meet you back at the bank again to sell those, and we'll see what we ultimately end up with. All right, guys, we are back. Stop! <laughs> Just park right in the middle of the intersection. It's so funny. All right, let's hop out here. Uh, we have a total of four gold bars. So we have three 18-ounce uh, bars and then one little tiny one left with the little gold that I left uh, had left over. Um, so let's get this going again. Stock price is still crap, but you know what? That's all right. We're just going to sell this first big batch so we have a nice chunk of money and have a little bit of capital that we can uh, start doing some extra things with. Uh, but, you know, we'll we'll watch the market. I, I probably will not sell low all the time, but just this first time anyways, that's the plan. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and sell gold bars. Uh, I wish there was a way... We could sell them all at the same time, but yeah, it doesn't let us do that. So, okay, well, and then let's sell that one and this one and this one and this one. Exit. All right, we have made our first hundred grand, you guys. We have a hundred thousand, a hundred and three thousand and ninety-one dollars. That is a beautiful thing. So here's what we're going to do first. We're going to go to um, one machine slot on parcel. How much does that actually cost? I think, I think that means we could have another excavator. I'm just trying to think. I think that means we could have another excavator on site. And what we could, if we did that, what we could do is hire somebody to run the second one. Now, we unfortunately, the game doesn't actually show that in action, but it assumes that it's happening. So we should really consider that. The thing is, though, is do I want to throw down a bunch of money on another excavator? Uh, another small one. I'd like. I actually wouldn't mind buying the big one, but the problem with me buying a big excavator right now, I could afford it because I think they're like seventy grand. But then the tutorial is going to want us to buy one to two, so that means I'd have to buy another one later. Which I mean, we might eventually need to do that anyway. If I bought the bigger excavator, then the assumption is I can fill the you know the bucket up faster on the wash plant and just you know speed up the whole process. Um, things to think about. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's go back to our camp. Um, because what I want to do is, uh, take the break off. Yeah, what I want to do is I want to look at hiring. And I think we need our tablet for that. So let's go take a look at that next and then decide what our next move is going to be. Okay, we are back at camp here. Let's take a look at our tablet. 
Uh, okay, so we have to unlock workers for 10,000, which we can do and which I want to do. So let's do that now. And then these are no Norman Mo Moses. Norman Moses. Look at the hair on that guy. Um, okay, so this guy, we'll have to pay him ab about 130 bucks a day. His work is only 32% and he can only do tier one with hog pen. That is apparently our only option is this guy here. So why don't we zero workers in wash plant system components zero to wash plant performance? Oh, so we're going to assign workers to the wash plant. Zero worker in vehicles, 0% of vehicle fuel usage. Interesting. Okay, well, this is our only option, and it kind of sucks. Um, I don't know what exactly what the 32% means other than it's some kind of a rating of how good of a worker he is, I guess. So the higher that number is, the better they are. But as long as he isn't, you know, costing us money, I mean, as long as we're, we're getting some kind of a profit, uh, from him it's probably worth doing and I think we can always fire them too so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna hire this dude all right and then we're gonna go here and oh this is cool so he can only do tier one stuff increased worker performance increased worker performance level one eight per 0.13% to hog pan performance. Does that mean he's adding that to what it can already do? Or does that mean it'll only function at 8.13% of its efficiency? I don't know. But I guess what we do is we select this hog pan and we assign him. Yeah. Okay. So it shows that this is now assigned and we should start seeing some gold come in. This is where we can fire him to upgrade. Apparently, well, that doesn't work for us for whatever reason right now. Okay, well, there we go. We got our first, uh, our first worker assigned. And uh, hopefully, I don't know if he himself will improve over time or... It does seem to indicate we could upgrade him somehow here, but we'll have to keep an eye on this. And as better people come along, you know, we'll swap them out and so on and so forth. Uh, the other thing to for me to consider again is if I do get a second excavator, then and we have someone that can do tier two mining, you know, then we can assign that person to the excavator. So we'll just keep an eye on this and keep a. Uh, Somebody wants to work for you. Check your tablet for more information. You have a new resume. Oh, did, like another new person now? No, it must have just been. It must have just been him. I like how this says 129.9888. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. So. Unfortunately, the game doesn't actually show the guy over here working. It's just assumed that he is over here working. Um, I don't know if I have to keep this fueled either. So it's currently at 13%. Let's just, you know, we'll come back over here later and look at it and see if anything's happening. But, uh, you know, we'll just keep an eye on our gold in the upper right-hand corner if we start to see... A little bit of that come in then we know you know we know that he's working or doing something uh, but I think I have it set up correctly let's just check it one last time so he's currently assigned to this it says he's assigned and it says assigned here so yeah my expectation then is that we start to see a little bit of gold come in uh, as as time goes on all right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. So we uh, we made some some really nice money. Um, <clears throat> the one thing I might do here's what I'm thinking is 
purchasing the larger backhoe because eventually we're going to need more than one large excavator anyways because eventually we'll probably have multiple sites and we'll have people hired you know working that equipment so it's really just kind of a matter of you know what's what makes the most sense for me to do right now um let's let's see if we can find the machine store okay machine store uh it doesn't really tell us the price of the large excavator but i think it's somewhere like around 70 grand if i remember correctly does it show anything here no so i'm gonna think about that and if i decide to do it then in the next episode we will have the large excavator but for the moment we have to continue with you know just the machinery that we have and um and yeah keep uh, keep working the claim until we get up to 510k so we are just a little bit under a fifth of the way there right now so that is it guys for this episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.